great. We have Jake Senior running the YouTube channel. We have Jake Junior doing absolutely nothing as per usual. So, so what are we doing today? We are celebrating Father's Day with my children um, on the mats. I don't have any kids, so we, we have to supplement. Um, but no, it should be good. We're on in about 10 minutes. A um, couple matches in the absolute. I think there's 24 competitors. Uh, there's a black belt on the other side who's very good. His name's Euros. Keen for a match with him if he makes it all the way to the final. Um, and then I'll have my division later at the end of the day. Uh, three o'clock, but hopefully that bumps forwards up and so I don't have to wait here all day. Um, yeah, should be good, should be fun. Just another prep for ADCC trials and doing some A-game stuff and we'll see what happens. I'll see you there. First guy didn't show up, so it's still waiting. It's annoying. I like punctuality, but it is what it is. You haven't pumped your chair yet? No. Not, no, this, not this morning. He's like you. That was fun. It's all good, bit of light-hearted competing. You can't break you can't break your cameraman. I can. I just provided factual evidence that I actually can. Alright. Oh you're back on the camera now, are you? I'm back where I should is be. Is your day finished? Uh no, just the absolute day is. Oh, how I, did that I, happen? I don't want to talk about it.
the far side. Let's come back up into the tripod there to kill him. Let's come back up into a high tripod to become Simigeshi. We can start thinking about either clearing the feed or shelf. There we go. Knee off the floor. Let's go chest lock here and cover the hip. I'd go back to a chest lock, walking around. Let's go knee side under hook, open up the elbow there. Three minutes. Let's look for the far knee straight away. from here. We've got trapping and heisting options. Sorry, no, you're right. So just something for the turtle there just to tidy up super quickly. Was just using the near side under to open up his elbow so you can slide that knee in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Rather than coming out to the seatbelt there, you're up on that one. Three minutes to work, Josh. Two and a half. Good day in the office. <laughs> what's, the, what's the problem with the drag? The problem is the far hip. If I turn, if you turn with the rules or my over there. Um, yeah. If you're not here, yeah. no zebra. If you do that, no rule. No slam. Of course, just this color. Hooray! <laughs> So, it's a uh, wonderful sunny Father's Day here in Sydney. We're standing in front of Jake's, Jake's Jiu Jitsu today. Hey, um, it was good, except against you. I don't know how you're in front and behind the camera simultaneously. <laughs> it's really cool. No, so I had a, a match with Jude, who is a competitor from a, another gym in Sydney. And unfortunately, when I was um, climbing through his guard from a north-south position, his shoulder came out, which is unfortunate, because it was going to transpire to be a pretty good match. Um, He's a little bit tricky from bottom, plays a lot of leg locks, so I was keen to get into some exchanges with him. It just didn't materialize, which is unfortunate. Um, put his shoulder back in, so now I'm an accredited physiotherapist slash doctor, which is great. <laughs> Maybe I can prescribe myself some, some remedies. Um, second match of the day was you. Yeah. And I scored two points with a cheeky IBJJF knee tap as you pulled guard. <laughs> And then I proceeded to score 19 points on you by passing you at will. I then put you into an S mount and wrist lock. 
Yeah. I'm it very, sounds like uh, just a Monday, to be honest. I'm very pleased with myself. <laughs> I'm very pleased with myself. But I bashed a pearl belt who's three weight classes below me. <laughs> Who also happens to edit my videos. Uh, and then the third match of the day was against a young man with a mullet. I forget. It was Zach? Axel. Axel. Is that, who's an brisket, Axel? that's right. Brisket? It's brisket, but I, it's brisket. Oh. Because he's beefy. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I had a match with him. Best mullet in jiu-jitsu. Hey, best mullet in jiu-jitsu. Jiu -jitsu. Ethan Krellenstein has to take a back seat. Yeah. Was a little bit rushed with him, for whatever reason, in, in the analysis of the match. Um, just wanted to get it done because I knew I had a final with Euros, who's a savage competitor in the 99 kilo division. Um, but ended up putting Zach away with uh, a couple of nice knee taps, put him in a turtle, body triangle, and then putting him away as well. Um, and then the gold medal match was the final with Euros, who is one of the top guys at the European trials in under 99s. He always does pretty well. Very tricky, bendy guard. So the strategy was to pull guard against him first, play from bottom, play a, a diverse range of attacks, both near side, far side, attack the legs, attack the upper body. Um, this, this is the thing that I try and teach most of my students is that when the game plan isn't working exactly the way you want it to in terms of getting things off of bottom, you should always have the ability to be able to heist and then change your pace. Um, so I recognized that when we got reset in one of the takedown exchanges, there was two minutes, two and a half minutes left on the clock. That's about halfway in grappling industries. Um, these are more of a sprint than a marathon in these matches and it can eat away at you quite quickly. I've had matches in the past where I just didn't get going and five minutes elapsed immediately and I ended up losing a decision. So it can happen to anyone. So cognizant of the time, recognizing that I was um, a, a still nil all, I needed to take down to, to secure points to put pressure on him. And then I knew that as soon as I put him in turtle, I could put him away. So I put him in a turtle, threw a long hook in, body triangle, belly down, got the job done uh, and ended up winning a gold medal. So we'll have another division in the evening or the afternoon, three o'clock, mm. which will also be fun. More of the same stuff. I'm going to play bottom again. Um, work some different bits and pieces that I've been training, uh, working in the training room. And then go home and eat. That um, belly down finish was one of the nastiest ones I've ever seen you do. Yeah, he was making a lot of noise and it probably should have been considered a verbal tap a lot earlier than it was, but that yeah. referee is kind of a bit hit and miss and doesn't like our gym that much, so <laughs> that's fine. You don't have to like us. He was praying that he would get out. Just praying. Yeah, I, I don't think praying to Jesus is going to help you get out of a body triangle. But well, maybe it does. Maybe it does. I don't know. I'm, I'm holy. I'm a holy man. I'm we'll a, find I'm, out on Monday. Put me in one and I'll pray. We could do that. Yeah, we could do that. With, with, with God, everything is possible. That's true. Just depends on, you know, how good your praying is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>